The Aegis was a magical protective skin worn by the Greek gods Athena and Zeus, and this is an Aegis 300, a protective body cam that can be worn by, well, anybody, and it's from my Gecko gear. It features a 1512p Extreme HD camera, 19 hours of battery life, and electronic image stabilization. Is it good enough to protect you? Let's find out. Okay, this is the Aegis 300 body cam, and let's take a look at what you get. Here we are. And we have the manual in English and French, and we have a warranty card and a CD-ROM. Who has a CD-ROM anymore, but I guess if you need drivers for USB. Um, and we have the unit itself, which is, let's see here, actually about the size of, a, of an action cam, maybe just a little bit larger than uh, the newer, um, the new models of uh, you know, like a GoPro, but still not too large. And we have a charger base. Um, it has a USB wall charger, a body clip, an alligator clip. This attaches to the back here. Oops, the other way. There we go. So, and this actuates in full 360. So you can clip it onto your pocket or your belt loop or what have you. It also should come, yes, it comes with an epaulette clip. So if you have a sh shoulder epaulette, there we go. So you would put this on your shoulder. That's why it's curved here like this. You put this on your shoulder and you hook this onto your epaulette on your uniform so that you could carry, you could uh, wear this on your chest. And it comes with a mini USB cable and a spare lithium battery. All right, so let's charge this puppy up and we'll get started testing. Okay, while it is charging here in its charging stand, its cradle, and which is as a nice feature that you can charge both the spare battery as well as the unit itself in the cradle, and it just locks down like a uh, radio, and you push that down, and it lights blue when it's uh, when it's fully charged. So this spare battery is fully charged, and this main unit actually is charging. It's indicating red. So we let's swap out these batteries here because this one's fully charged, or at least it's saying it's fully charged. And there is a battery door here, and you press this, and it pops open. And you pull out the battery. Make sure you don't accidentally pull out that little tab there because that helps you put the batteries in and out. And let's lock that up. And let's charge this battery that was inside. Oh, it's saying it's also blue. Well, that's kind of strange. Okay, well, let's charge them both up and uh, charge them overnight just to make sure that it's all fully charged here. And one of the things that's interesting about this particular uh, new model is that it has a Wi-Fi app that you can download to allow you to see what the camera is seeing uh, and what it has recorded using your phone, which is convenient. Um, you, it does have a built-in LCD screen here, and here's some of the, let me just go over some of the function buttons that the, it has. Um, this power button, you press it on for three seconds, and it powers up, and it has um, voice, audio recording only, camera, and video. And the USB port is hidden under this little uh, hatch here to keep it um, water resistant. And this is water resistant to rain. Uh, we'll, we'll test that later. And this is a function button to help you cycle through the menu and also some additional um, menu buttons on the back here to allow you to uh, change some of the features. You do need a password, and the default password is 000, and you can change that, you, well, you should change that. But it's great is that uh, about this particular unit, it does is password protected, so you cannot get in to the memory to uh, download or um, erase any of the files unless you have the password, or you disable the password. Okay, so let's charge this up, and we'll get going. 
except there was a little snafu. Okay, here's a little bit of a problem. I just took it out of the cradle right now, and I just tried to turn it on. As you can see, the unit is not turning on. I had to do a hard reset uh, by putting a paper clip into uh, the nook next to the charger port. Uh, but I contacted uh, my Gecko Gear, and their customer service was excellent. They sent me a return label. I sent back the unit. They sent me a new one. Uh, and I continued the test, but um, they're, actually their engineers did get back to me and they said they couldn't quite replicate the problem. I don't know if it, I accidentally pressed that red manual save button while I was pulling it out, if that caused it. Uh, there's a little little hole next to the charge port here where you stick a paper clip and you can reset it. And it, well, it worked. It worked after I reset it. So anyway, I just thought I should let you know of uh, any issues that I that came across while I was testing this thing. All right, I downloaded the app and I wanted to see how this thing connects with the Wi-Fi. Uh, it has, you have to set up the Wi-Fi through the menu, um, but then once you set that up, you find your Wi-Fi on your phone, you download the app, which is I, Eyes Cam, but unfortunately, it's a bad naming because otherwise it looks like iScam Pro. You open that up and you connect your device. Just follow the instructions in the instruction manual. And you should be able to, yes, we see here, real time, you can see what the, your camera is seeing. So that's a nice way to, just to double check. Of course, that requires you to turn on your Wi-Fi on your device, which uh, does take up a bit more bandwidth and, uh, I mean, battery power, as well as you're turning your Wi-Fi on your phone, so you're not going to be able to use your internet because you're using your Wi-Fi to connect to the device. So um, this is just good for monitoring and making sure that your camera is on and it's pointing in the right direction. So um, it does have its features as well as you can review um, whatever you've recorded. And um, if you are the administrator, you can download them or choose to select a, to, sh to uh, save certain files or highlight certain files. So that is a nice, nice feature. And I'm sure it's be going to become uh, a standard in body cams as well as it's become a standard in a lot of dash cams. Okay, so back in the cradle we go and we're going to be testing this out for a whole day of footage. After charging the camera and the spare battery pack overnight, I wore the camera all day. And I found that uh, the, each battery pack lasted about eight and a half hours. That's less than the 19 hours advertised on the box, but still an impressive runtime. And of course, your mileage may vary. All right, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the camera footage at a local shopping center where we're gonna simulate a walking patrol. But before we do that, I'd just like to ask you to please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Subscribing is free and it benefits you because uh, it tells the AI that this is the kind of video that you'd like to watch and it'll suggest more videos uh, on similar subject matters as opposed to, say, cat videos, and, unless you're into that. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's take a look at the footage you get while actually wearing the camera. This is the raw audio from the camera. I haven't adjusted the volumes or added any sort of um, noise filtering. It is also raining today, so this is a good test of its uh, water resistance. Now, it is not waterproof, as I found out from the A200 the hard way. Uh, it is splash proof, so uh, if it gets wet, uh, you should shake it off. The footage is set to its standard uh, quality and resolution out of the box, which is 1080p. If there's any softness in the image, it's probably due to rain that clung to the lens. Now for comparison, on the left side of the screen, we're seeing the same shopping center filmed the very next day in the camera's highest resolution of 1512p and super fine image quality. And I've turned on its built-in electronic image stabilization mode. Looking at this footage, I don't really see that much of an improvement uh, when you turn on the EIS, the Electronic Image Stabilization. And that's a little bit of a disappointment because that was the big deal about the A300 over the A200 is that it did incorporate EIS technology. And a lot of the shakiness of the footage is dependent on where you're wearing it. The closer it is to the center line of your body, uh, the less of a side-to-side -side motion you'll get as you're walking. And, but, you know, if it's clipped onto your epaulette, it's going to be a little bit onto your side. So uh, it is what it is. 
What I do see is a noticeable improvement in image quality and, of course, resolution uh, when you're going up to 1512p. But, of course, the sacrifice is that you end up with roughly 50% larger video files. The camera has a fixed 32 gigabytes of internal memory, and that's because for security reasons they designed it not to utilize an ejectable external SD card. Now in my test I was able to record the entire time that the both batteries were charged, so that is over 16 hours of footage in that standard 1080p, so that is a sizable chunk of time. Now I'm going to start running here in a sec to simulate what it would look like if say you were chasing after a perp. Uh, and as you can also see here uh, on the left side, again, this is uh, with image stabilization turned on. And is it improving things? Uh, I don't know. Not so much. Now let's take a look at how well the camera takes footage at night and at low light. Because many of you, of course, uh, may be interested in this if you are working in security or law enforcement and uh, most of the bad things that happen happen at night so uh, this is the same shopping center actually and you can see the difference in the quality of footage now this particular shopping center does has upgraded to uh, brighter LED lights so it it does help in the, the overall image quality again this is at uh, its standard 1080p without the uh, electronic image stabilization In the playground area of the shopping center where there aren't very many lights, the camera's low light sensitivity does still uh, provide a good rendering of the environment. So there you go, the Aegis 300 from My Gecko Gear. I still have a hard time getting my head around the name of that company. Um, I reviewed their Aegis 200 uh, in a previous episode. I'll include a link to that to that in the video description. And of course, you could always find all of my videos on my website at MoondogIndustries.com. Um, but this particular model is about $80, $90 more. The 300 features some improvements, like the higher resolution, the swappable batteries, the Wi-Fi connection to your phone. But the electronic image stabilization is a bit disappointing. That's probably the greatest area that they could improve upon. Uh, overall, the image quality, as you saw, was really good. It is a very compact and rugged little device. And its battery capacity, even with just one battery at nine, eight or nine hours, is better than any GoPro or action cam or any camera, for that matter, that I own. But is it right for you? Well, hopefully this video helped you to decide. And if you're interested in picking one up, I'll include more information in the video description and on my website at MoondogIndustries.com where I'll also share any manufacturer or retailer discount or coupon codes that I find. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave me a comment and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.